One day, I will be an English teacher. I must either be insane or I've watched Dead Poet Society too many times. But for right now, I'm just a student. Every day is a new adventure. If I were a teacher, I would let my students learn more than just pronouns and adverbs. I would teach them about themselves. I would teach them how to love one another and make themselves better. I would show them that the great paradox of education isn't definitive. They would know I'm not another adult that doesn't care if they wind up strung out on crystal meth, who doesn't care about a girl kissing the boyfriend who mistakes her body for a punching bag, who wouldn't care about the boy hanging himself because he lost all hope. I would care. They would know I don't see them as black bubbles on a scantron, as your digits justifying my paychecks, as delinquents, as statistics to an educational policy that only cares about the final product. I would see them as unfinished stories, and I'm dying to see what will happen to the characters I will grow attached to. I would tell them that they have a voice, and that doesn't mean they have to shout in study hall. It means that they should choose their words carefully, so that when they speak, others will lean forward and listen like they are cliffhangers. I wouldn't have all the answers, but I would still want to learn, to understand, and they just might have the key. I would say, whatever you do, be passionate about it and do it well. You may not see the need for geometric proofs or prepositions or the Louisiana Purchase, but every bit of knowledge is another tool to fight against being another mindless machine. Education isn't just about standardized tests and bad documentaries and echoing what you've been taught. Education is about finding yourself understanding the world around you, and realizing that you have the power to rewrite your circumstances. You have control of what you will become. I would tell my students, as told to me by one of my English teachers, you are a living story. Make sure that you live fully awake, aware of deeper things than bills and tabloid gossip. Don't throw your hands up and surrender. If you don't give up on yourself, then I swear I won't either. Now go out and do amazing things.